review and today we're still in Manchester so we're still doing kind of mini series of beers around about Manchester and Yorkshire area but we're actually in Lancashire today so we're doing a Lancaster Blonde today and uh, Again, this is bought from as does a deal for three for four two, and I need to change glasses because I can't read because the writing's so small. Wonderful. There we go. Haha. <laughs> right. What does it say? So yes, it's, this is working out. It's under one pound fifty a bottle. It's a four percent, five hundred ml, and uh, partly it says appearance is dark straw with a light amber hue. The aroma is gentle spice with a fresh hint of citrus. And the flavour is soft biscuit malt, mellow spiced lemon hops. There we go. And that's really it. And of course it's from the... Where is it from? The partly has got a little thing for sweetness. So basically out of five cubes, it's three and a half. And for bitterness out of five kind of hops it's showing two so it's not that bitter and uh, who's actually brewing this I'm trying to find the name of it which is interesting and it tells us up here god it's quite difficult hold on produced in the UK by Lancaster Breweries Lancaster Breweries Limited and it's in can't even read that so so small but anyway it's uh bleeding bleeding lancashire which is good so let's crack it open and uh, see what it's like and as you can see it's got the lancashire red rose and of course in yorkshire they have the white rose but yes lancashire has the red rose careful another history of the war of the roses but anyway let's pull this out and see what it's like now again this is lightly chilled because obviously we don't have a fridge and probably these type of ales will probably do better than that because then they will be overly chilled because that's one of the big problems of having them in the fridge they get too cold. But as you can see yes it's nice and golden. <laughs> what did they say for a robber? Gentle spice with a fresh hint of citrus. Not really getting citrus. I'm getting malt, but I'm not getting biscuity malt. And gets was known as a what I used to refer to as one lot or pedigree chum. So it has that little maltiness smell, but it smells like kind of dried dog food, that type of stuff. And that's what it smells like. It's got kind of smell of dried dog food. <laughs> it doesn't sound very really pleasant, but it is. It's that kind of type of biscuity kind of malt but it's not like what we call a kind of sweet biscuit so kind of savoury kind of thing there's no citrus there's absolutely no spice that I'm getting so let's have a taste yeah there's an underlying sweetness that's just going from boom, front to back, so it's just sitting there as like a foundation. Not a, not overly sweet, but there is just a little constant kind of sweetness there. You are getting kind of hops, and a slight bitterness hops in the, the aftertaste. So let's let's break it down. Right, you're getting a bit of malt and the sweetness to start with. No, it's light malt, it's not even particularly biscuity, it's just quite light. It's uh, the malt is just continuation onto the mid tongue, it's starting to kind of drop off quite early in the mid tongue, and then you're starting to get the hops coming in. And the hops, it feels like it's building, but then it just stays the same as it moves from the kind of mid tongue to the aftertaste, and then it kind of just drops off fairly quickly, it doesn't kind of linger so much in the aftertaste 
but again it's balanced because you still have this underlying kind of sweetness going from you know front of the mouth right to the aftertaste and it's kind of calming down any type of bitterness and it's just kind of tempering it back a bit so yeah mm. it's quite a nice beer actually nicely brewed as you can see it's well brewed there's a nice balance to it and I would say it's sessionable nice mouthfeel easy to drink again I would recommend looking at these type of beers as, as a bit of a change from from lager especially in more kind of warmer months and maybe barbecue season and things like that because these type of beers there's a lot more flavor to them so it does make them a lot more interesting than quite a lot of the standard laggers I'm not saying if you're going into kind of like some of the Czech Pilsners or some of the German Pilsners that have got plenty of flavour and plenty of character. But if you're looking at the likes of Forsters or Carling or these different types of things or San Miguel or Corona, these type of things, have a look at the kind of golden ales because there's a lot of nice light golden ales. And this of course is called Blonde, Lancaster Blonde. And uh, yeah. They're just a little bit lighter, but they still have some nice character flavours and things like that and just make it a bit more interesting. Some of this kind of bland, mainstream, god awful um, beers that uh, people are buying as laggers, even though, from what I've been told, a lot of these are actually brewed as the one beer with a higher alcohol content and then watered down to meet the different alcohol contents of the specific brand and then of course bottled that way so a lot of them are actually the same base beer and then differently slightly adjusted to make like say Foster's and 1664 and all these other types of beers so again you're not really getting a good product you're getting a manipulated product whereas for me it'd be better to buy something like this and you're also supporting a nice local kind of uh, brewery as well so mm. So what would I give that out of 10? Well, it's really quite nice. I'm going to actually give it, I'm going to give it a six. Mm. Don't tell a lie, I'm actually going to give it a six and a half. For the price with the deal in Asda, for one pound, uh, for less than one pound fifty for a bottle. And it's, it's, well brewed like I say, it's nicely balanced, it's more interesting than a lot of your kind of mainstream lagers. It's very easy to drink, really is nice and enjoyable and even when you just lightly chill like I've got it, which I've just been basically um, having it for 10-15 minutes uh, in cold water and uh, yeah, mm. it's reacted nicely and yeah, very very drinkable. Um, obviously the more you chill it the more you would obviously tone down some of the flavour so again you'd probably make it in some ways easier to drink because of course you would relax some of the kind of stronger flavours but yeah six and a half out of ten I would recommend it well done Lancaster Brewery you made a good product there and uh, no, no real stupid spill in the bottle and a nice little kind of uh, bitterness and sweetness kind of indicator which is I would say is quite accurate aromas well I'm not going to say they're not there but I can't smell them so and I would say that my nose is is fairly sensitive but maybe other people can smell them but I certainly can't and I can't really taste um, really too much of the kind of lemon but there is obviously a bitterness that's kind of ever so slightly maybe kind of roundish kind of in its character but I wouldn't say it was particularly citrus in any way shape or form. So that's us. Thanks for watching. Cheers and bye for now.